Hey, Jez, what's up, man? Super hands. Find a Guinness, please. No logo on the foam. No logo on the foam. Hey, don't buy into all that one, do you? What the old, ooh, ooh, I've got a clover in me foam. I'm so important. No, what you're doing there is you're, you're drinking an advert, aren't you? Hey, shithead. Thank you. Right. So, you got our track? Uh, no. I've been thinking, I'm not sure. I think maybe it's shit. Whoa! Hold it, cowboy. Rewind. What shit? The track's shit. Jez, the track's the shit. It's just, I found Mark laughing at it. Oh, well, so, Mr. Fucking Ocean Colour Pants don't get it. Well, kill fucking surprise. Plus, he was doing it in front of Tony. Mate, you've got to get some Rewenge. He broke a Merta. You think? Listen, the whole industry is run by suits like your mates. Do you think that's why we haven't got a deal yet? Of course it is. They're all a bunch of marks, aren't they? Sitting behind their big marble desks, tyres done up to 11, clicking their fingers to the fucking lighthouse family, getting their dick sucked by a big Alsatian dog. Yeah? They're all perverts, mate. All in with each other. It's not who you know, it's who you blow. So what do you think? I don't know. Yeah, it's in your face. It's just... I don't like it. Oh, well, I do. I just don't. Oh, right. Well, this is it, is it? What? Look, this is the end of the Hair Blair Bunch. Uh, we are not the Hair Blair Bunch. Whatever. Sorry, this is the end of Spunk Bubble. This is the end of Mama's Cumquat. This is not the end of Mama's Cumquat, Jez, because I never agreed to it being Mama's Cumquat. Look, if this is it, if this is John and Paul, 1970, then I need money for the equipment. This is like your whole Balearic bullshit, isn't it? One minute it's all, oh, I love you, man. The next it's, where's that 50 quid you owe me? Look, I'm just saying, I need money and... Hey, listen, mate. Shit is... As shit does, my friend. Oh, look, Jez, I'm sorry, mate, this is all bullshit. We can't just let the hair blare bunch. We are not the hair blare bunch! Stress and relaxation. Super hands. Unless you're at ease with yourself, you'll what are we doing? We are looking through the other end of the telescope. I don't feel very well. Did something bad happen? Everything's okay. Look, there's two basic energies in the world, stress and relaxation. Did I break through? No idea. You passed out after the love beans. I thought the table was being ironic. But what was the bad thing? Floss's boss. Floss's boss. Floss's boss! <laughs> no, not that. Something worse. What happened? That will probably become clear later. Like the French Revolution. I think we need to tidy up. Absolutely not. No, that is the one thing I stand against. A thousand times, no. Oh, I feel like loam. A piece of loam. Jesus, what am I talking about? I wish Mark was here. No more drugs. I don't need drugs. I mean, what great music was ever made on drugs? Bowie, obviously. The Floyd, the Proj, Aphex. The list is endless, really. But they could have done it twice as fast with half the mess if they just... Ah, was that the bad thing? Not that. Something wronger. <laughs> Mark will be so pleased when he sees this. He's just so... Maybe I could open my bank statements. Maybe you can be boring and cool. Yeah, Jeremy and Superheads. This is perfect, man, because I'm being evicted soon. Yeah. Yeah, we are going to have parties in this place that go beyond fun and actually get really, really nasty. <coughs> so, when's the Iron Duke moving out? Um, I don't know. Maybe a few weeks. I mean, nothing's really decided yet. I'll tell you what, as a fucking off present, why don't we spike him? Yeah. Or maybe get him a nice watch, or... Yeah, he'll be like, Oh, I couldn't make the meeting today, boss. I've got to fax my soul off to God for an upgrade. <laughs> this could be all right. I'll just get Mark to make us a cleaning rotor. We'll just stick religiously to the rotor. Welcome to my world. Man, I am so glad you got me in here. Nice. Wicked. So, let's go down to the studio and start riffing on some shit, yeah? Totally, yeah. Although, obviously, one of us has to be on reception at any one time. Unless Hazel can cover, that's really important. OK, I get it.
the code, right? We bide our time until we pick the perfect moment to start really shaking shit up and get noticed. Yeah, although one of the best ways to get noticed early on is to pick up a four-pinter on the way in, ask Ron if he wants a latte before... You... Jesus, man, what happened? You got like a Blair Witch ear. Oh, yeah, that's Tony's. You know, next door Tony. Oh, the one you wrote to... Bing, bing, bing. Tony's theme for. Just like some kind of drug. Kind of like ketamine, but with nicer hair. Oh, you're all set, aren't you? You, my friend, are a music studio reception runner now. Gets the women hot. Yeah? Oh, yeah. It's a savage garden, my friend. A savage garden. Shall I ask what he means? Yeah, so this is really very similar to a much larger version of the old graphics equaliser that you might have had on your hi-fi in that it takes the graphics, which is another word for music, and it equalises them... I've lost her. She's gone. The whole Christ, I'm actually quite boring when I put my mind to it. And you've got the Chemical Brothers in Six. Yeah, yeah, they're great. Really great group. Lovely guys. Come on, this is it. So... Just sitting here, it's almost like you can feel your mojo expanding. Uh, Jess, you haven't seen my book yet. No, I don't think it's... Oh, hi. Hi. Is that Burroughs and the Drug Culture? I love that book. Me too. Yeah, I've been reading it for like a year. I'm on the bit where Kerouac finishes his Benzedrine high, looks back at his novel and realises he wasn't even holding a pen. <laughs> <laughs> of Ginsburg's over in the corner, isn't he? Laughing. But crying at the same time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. They've clicked. I read it for my book club. Brilliant. I hear clicking. It shits on birdsong. <laughs> so, Jez, do you think you could have a look at that uh, thing for me on reception? The thing? Yeah. Oh, that. I fixed that. Oh, did you? Well, it's uh, gone again. No, I fixed it. Twice. I was, I was just down there. It's uh, definitely not working. Fuck off. What isn't? The thing. You fixed. Listen, I'm just showing Tony around at the Jeremy, moment. I'm fine. Your thing sounds important. Maybe, um... Hands. Super hands. Super hands could show me the rest of the equipment. It's cool. There's a bond of trust. He won't break the bond of trust. She's my guest. I invited her. Why should I be the one making Ron lattes all day? <laughs> Jez! Just uh, showing Tony the old drum loop from Bomb Dog. She'll get bored of him, just like she got bored of me. Call yourself a mate, mate. What? Oh, yeah, right. What? I saw you leave her flat this morning. She wanted bongo lessons. What can I say? The lady has a passion for percussion. She hasn't got a bongo. You weren't carrying a bong... There was no bongo. Look, you don't need a drum to teach someone... Look, mate, I'm next door. I heard you your noise last night. Oh, that, that was nothing. That was press-ups. Yeah, well, you certainly seem to enjoy the last few a lot. Hey, mate, sometimes you really gotta push for the burn. Hmm. Uh-oh, it's the human time bomb. Don't poke him, don't rile him. Hey, Jeremy. Hey, man, how are you doing? Good to see you. Join the party. We're just hanging out with the band. Long day at the studio. So, how are you doing? Oh, good, I I'm feeling pretty good. Great. The way I see it now, Barbara is an experienced man-manager, and if she thinks Sophie's right for the job, then Sophie's right for the job. So, stop all the clocks! Tony and Tony are getting remarried! And sure, we made a few mistakes the first time round, but now uh, we've got the chance to make them all over again. <laughs> <laughs> Already he starts with the jokes. At least one of us is serious about actually giving this a fucking go. So long, Tony. You did, didn't you? Oh, yeah. And you did, obviously. Oh, yeah. Spicy. Clinical, more like. What are you going there? It's a bit of crack. Crack? Crack, Subhans? Relax. It's not blue, Peter. Have a nice little relaxing smoke of crack. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my fucking life. It isn't... It bloody is. Gog! Gog? Gog! At school, if you're gonna sneeze, you'd run up and do it in his face. Gog! Jeremy, what are you doing here? Wouldn't you like to know, you big prick? So what are you doing? 
Just running the business. You know, hiring, firing and perspiring. Business? <coughs> Look at you with your glass of wine and your jacket, just like a real person. Remember when we made you wank off Perchie's dog for a fiver? What are you doing, really? Like I said, business. Going public in April. Usernames. And I'm overseeing the edit on my first short. Honda are very interested. What, so you're actually successful? Looks like it. Yeah, just come back from three hours trying to find some music for our soundtrack that doesn't completely suck ass. But, Gog, I'm music. I make music. Right, well, maybe we should meet up and have a chat sometime. Of course we should meet up sometime and have a chat. Look, here's Superhands. We can do the music, can't we, Superhands? Tell you what, that crack is really Moorish. God, what is he taking? Better not disturb him. He might attack me and be sick. Uh, Jeremy! What? What's Hans doing? He's honking on his crack pipe. Crack? I've got company. Oh, relax. Oh, I'm Mark. I'm in the 80s. I'm dying of heroin in a puddle in the corner in an advert. Drugs are fine, Mark. Everyone agrees now. Drugs are what happen to people, and that's fine, so shut up. Look, I don't want to make a scene, but I really think... <laughs> what? It's Gog. I got the commission. Well, congratulations. Shove it up your ass. Shove it up your ass. I've got a commission. It's big and it's fat and it's going right up your white bread ass. Jez, for God's sake, I'm pleased for you. Oh, yeah, sure you are. So pleased that I've gone straight to the finish line on my enormous bike while you're still jogging along for miles in the rat race with you and all the other rats. Exactly. I, I think it's great. Great. Well, in that case, you won't mind if I take you out for an incredibly expensive meal to celebrate. I I'm not that hungry. Bollocks, we're going. What am I going to tell Gog? What happened to all the time? Where did all the time go? We had loads of time. What we really need to do is create a powerful sense of dread. See, the longer the note, the more dread. God, that's terrible. It's worse than Daryl's bloody core on Glay. Oh, they're useless. I wish they were all robots. I wish I was a robot. Maybe I could punch through a wall. Yeah, okay, right, ready? One, two, three, let's go! Watch out, they're gonna get you They're gonna get you, baby They're coming after you Watch your back, they're gonna get you They're coming after you Look, no, alright? That's not shit, but just no. Hans, you realise we've only got 39 minutes left? Oh, right, so now we're working, it's not okay for me to smoke my crack? Yes, exactly. Exactly. What, so next you're going to boot me out for not wearing a jacket and tie? Jess, is there anything I can... It's under control, Mark, OK? Everything's under control. Will you please get back behind the glass? But uh, as your manager, I just... I just get back behind the glass. There is a very clear, if invisible, line. Here be beauty, there be pie charts, OK? Uh, look, I've been here since eight. I'm just going to go and grab a coffee, all right? Yeah, well, if you're leaving now, don't even fucking dream of coming back. Oh, God! Do we have to do this? We're not going to hurt him, are we? You want your money back, don't you? He's refusing to pay up, Mark. He's refusing to like the track. I told you you should have had a proper contract. How are you feeling, Superman's? Fine, totally fine. You've kicked the crack? No. So now bang a load of Valium up me arsehole for the come down. What's this? Cover. In case the cops turn up. Just a bunch of mates playing a lovely game of baseball. No, oh, Jeremy. Right, so, what, you've had more thoughts about the track? Yeah, yeah, we have, actually. OK, great. Yeah, we thought we might smash your brains in with a baseball bat. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. See, we want our money, and we're feeling a little bit clumsy. Whoops. Look, Jeremy, I've told you, it's out of my hands now. The Honda people are very hard to please. Oh, Honda, Honda, Honda. Fuck Honda. Nice, uh, packet of crunchy nut you've got here. Pretty expensive, as I recall. Not so rich and successful now with a piece of wood in your face, hmm? Right, Jez. Look, Jeremy, we, we can come back again. He's got the message. You're gonna pay, aren't you? No. All right, then, we've got our answer. Let's go. I've got to hurt him on principle. Hit him with a fucking bat, Jez. Why do I have to? Why don't you do it? Punch him with the glove. Punch it? I can't even make a fist. 
This is the whole point about contract law. The whole point of a contract is to make sure this kind of thing never happens. Don't answer it. What if it's Honda? It's not going to be Honda. Could be Honda. All right, but a word out of place and you're getting the bat. Hello? Honda? Uh, oh, really? Oh, well, that's great news. Uh, oh, well, I'm so pleased. Dave, call the police. There's people here. They're trying to kill them. They're trying to kill them. <laughs> Hello, uh, Dave. It, it's... It's Mark here. I, I'm an old friend of God's. D don't worry, we're, we're not trying to kill him. It's, it's just uh, he's, uh, he, he's never had sushi before. He thought we were trying to poison him. Ah. It's, it's all right, God. You, you're not meant to cook it. It's supposed to be raw. <laughs> can, can he call you back? So, Hans, old issue, I know, but the band name. I mean, I know it's a statement, obviously, but what does a statement mean? There you go. Three munchies. Did you snick this? Of course I did. You should be paying me to eat this shit. Wow, oh, free choco. Mmm, tasty. The secret ingredient is crime. So, listen, Jez, about the band. You know Pete Preston's outfit, the Executioner's Bong? Yeah, a bunch of wankers. Exactly. Well, they've kind of asked me if I'd front them for a couple of gigs. What? Yeah, so, obviously I'm going to have to quit coming up for Blair. You can't be in two bands at once. Tom Petty tried that with the Heartbreakers and the Wilburys. Nearly killed the fucking guy. But what about me? None of this makes any sense, Soup Hands. Besides, you still owe me for the big computery thing we don't know how to work. All right, look, maybe I can get you in on maracas. I won't be Bez. I want to be in there on merit. I don't think you'll make it in on merit. Just get me in. Then we'll see about merit. <laughs> I'm going to razz those fuckers. Hey, Mark, look, it's Soup Hands and the band. guy. I love that guy. That is so funny. Hi, Soph. Uh, me again. Uh, really am leaving a lot of messages for you today, I know. So, Mary's gone. If I got sectioned, Seriously, I'd put up more of a fight. Fine. Downside might get lobotomised. Seriously, it's fine not calling back. I hope it's not because I hung up in, in the middle of our, you know, thing. But uh, really do please call me back. Uh, all my warmest wishes, Mark. Oh, ridiculous sign-off. Not sending her a birthday card. Still nothing. Six calls, nothing back. Wasn't going to call again, but then I thought Mary being sectioned, a nugget of sad but interesting news. Right. A talking point. Hmm. Did you try to get me sectioned? What? No, of course not. Well, somebody tried to get me sectioned. Jeremy, Superhand is here. Did you try and get him sectioned? What? Me? No. Why did you try and get him sectioned? Of course not. Well, somebody tried to get me sectioned. And nobody gets Superhand sectioned. Well, I definitely didn't try to get you sectioned. That sounded pretty convincing. I guess it was just one of those freaky urban things, like those people who go on fire for no reason. Yeah. So listen, I've been busting the gut trying to sort the pub. I tried to get European Bob on board, but he's a jerk off. He's still stuck in the crisp age. I mean, what next, buddy? Mead on tap? Yeah, right. Asshole. So, what do you think? The old team, back together? Well, maybe, but we need to agree on some stuff. Like, and don't fly off the handle, but I'm just really not happy with the name Free the Pedos. I mean, can't we call it something more normal, like the swan and tomato? Yeah. Or compromise. The swan and pedo. Yeah, OK, sure. And what about lager and... Details. Listen, we need to get some fucking proof of ownership, right? We need property deeds. We need to get keys cut, borrow some start-up longer for the overheads. So, let's go over to Mary's. Ah, uh, could be a problem there. Mary, see, Mary's been sectioned. Mary's been sectioned? You're kidding. Jesus. Who's going to be next? Incredible. Still no call from Soph. If she's broken up with me, maybe I suppose I could consider Mary. Would sort of suit me to have a girlfriend in an institution. 
regulated meeting times. I might get to have a say in her medication. I'd like to be able to chemically alter my girlfriend's moods. Well, I have to say, she's looking a lot better. Right, well, we'll just grab her stuff and get her out of your hair. No, no. I'm afraid Mary needs to be kept a close eye on just now. But she's fine. She's always been the life and soul. Tabasco in your pint, frisbee in the kitchen. That's Mary. She's kooky. She's in the acute stage of a manic episode. What do you think, Mary? I just want to... Everything's too much right now. Shall we? At least she isn't proposing sexual intercourse anymore. Mark, can you give these to Jeremy? They're kind of important. Probably stopped fancying me now the sedatives have kicked in and she's lost the beer goggles. Normal service has been resumed. Come on, mate. Let her go. It's for the best. Look, it might take us a month or so just to see what kind of drug or cognitive therapies might help Mary with her condition. Oh, right. I see. Your little world is threatened by all the amazing Jack Nicholson's and Robin Williams's burning so bright you've got to keep them down with your chemical kosh. Yeah, come on, man. Set her free. All she needs is a vodka and tonic and a nice little lie down. I'm sorry, but there's no way I can sign her out. She's not well. Your dream is just everyone on the omnibus, grey, eating grey sludge. That's your dream, isn't it? No. We'll look after her. She's just wacky, you know? She's basically fine. She's not fine. She's temporarily mad. Oh, right. You're with them now, are you, Mark? Well, tell me, is it mad to be diagnosed with a mental disorder? Or is it, in fact, much more mad to get up every morning to go to your boring job so you can print out lots of meaningless documents? I'm sorry about this. It's the 60s. He thinks he's living in the 60s. How about this? You let her go, and we promise Promise to keep her restrained. Tightly tied. Look, I appreciate how passionately you feel about your friend, but there's no way I can sign her out. I I'm sorry. Look, uh, Mary wanted me to give you these deeds. I I'm not sure why or what. OK, well, fair enough, mate. I've said my piece, but you win. After all, you're the expert. OK, guys, let's go. So, Jez, wh why is she giving you these? Uh, those? I don't know. They're not important. Just give them to me, really. What? The deeds to the pub? Of course they're important. In fact, why do you even need them? Oh, yeah, didn't I, didn't I tell you? Yeah, um, she's giving us the place, so I just hand them over, really. She gave it to you? Well, yeah. I mean, it's all perfectly legal, probably, Mark. I don't see what you're worried about. But that's... Obviously, I, I mean, she's not in her right mind. She was fine when she gave us the pub. Well, are you sure? Because I guess giving away a pub that's worth several thousands of pounds for free, that kind of suggests you haven't exactly got your best thinking cap on. Mark, we're not exploiting her. Once we turn the pub into a cash cow, we'll give her some of the cream. <laughs> yeah, right. Look, I just think in this situation, Mary needs an impartial advisor like me to help her decide what's best. God, you're loving this, aren't you? Holding the deeds like Mr Monopoly with his top hat and his iron. Do you really think? If you don't give us her pop, she's going to let you screw her. <laughs> oh, God, that is low. That is really nuts. Are you saying I'm mad? Is that what you're saying? Are you going to try and get me sectioned for simply following my dream? Look, I, I just think the best thing is if I hand these to the authorities here and let them decide. Hi there, Doctor. Listen, I just wondered if you could take care of a deli. He's gone nuts. Get off! You need to section him, he's out of his mind. What? I'm not out of my mind, I just <laughs> need to give you some documents. He's a loony. He was running around with his cock out before saying it was on fire. He's lost it. He thinks there's a pigeon in Catalonia that's in control of his legs. I really don't. Jeremy, tell him. Well, <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, I mean, mostly he's OK, but maybe... Maybe you should keep him in for observation, just for a couple of days. Jeremy! Are you... Look, if there's anyone who's going nuts here, it's not me, it's you! That they could section you for trying to section me! If you try to section me, Mark, you'll have crossed the line and I will section you, so help Look, me! Look, guys. You've had your fun with the sectioning. There's going to be no more sectioning today.